So yes, it actually happened. The Winter Festival paid off for me. I had to go through so many, so many freaking gifts, so many bags, but I finally go went ahead and got it. And you can see, man, I'm recording this video. There's only 17 minutes left in the Winter's Festival. And a couple days ago, I did receive my Forge Hammer of Gond. I already made it mythic, got it all taken care of, and I'm very happy about it. But it was a long journey, man, and it took a lot. So in this video, man, what I want to do is cover, you know, basically what is going on inside of the, inside of the, the Winter Festival. How did it go? Was it good? The whole nine. As you can see, I opened up 845 Starlight Parcels. And I got my Forge Hammer of Gond on like the 690th one. It took me 690 Starlight Parcels to get one Forge Hammer of Gond. But I'm glad I got it. And I put a lot of time and a lot of effort into it, just like I'm sure a lot of you guys did as well. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get into the video. If you guys do enjoy this video, man, please go ahead and make sure you hit that thumbs up like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Man, look at how many people are actually in the Winter Festival as we're winding down in the last 16 minutes of the event. There was quite a lot of people in here just in the Winter Festival. But man, the Winter Festival had its ups and its downs for me. And unfortunately, they were mostly downs. Because... A lot of people were disappointed how they changed the fishing this year. A lot of people were disappointed how they broke their old legendary fishing poles. Then you had the dates, and I've covered this in a previous video, but I want to speak on it again. Then you had the dates that were wrong on the calendar that said the free gifts would start on December 25th till January 2nd, when they actually started on December 20th and lasted till December 27th. So a bunch of people that don't follow the forums, that don't follow, you know, my YouTube videos for information and other YouTubers and stuff, didn't even know that they missed out on five days worth of gifts. And the developers in the game never even fixed the calendar in the game. It was a bad look, man. It, it could have been done and handled a lot better in my, you know, in my personal opinion. And there was a lot of stuff, man, that went wrong with this event. Then you got to talk about the gifts, the free gifts we got. They were terrible. I mean, the Christmas event, like I said in my previous video, is only once every year. You know, once a year. A lot of people play this game. A lot of people devote their time, their effort into this game. And most importantly their money so once every year i would have i would have really liked the scene if the developers would have you know hit it out the park and gave us some really really good free gifts for the seven days of the gifting event it would have been like you know good <laughs> more or less but you know it had its ups and it had its downs and like i said a lot more downs than ups i mean for personally for me there was mostly downs the only up of the entire event for me was honestly getting the forge hammer and I know that kind of sucks because a lot of people probably never even got the Forge Hammer. Here's another bug I encountered in the game. If you guys watched what I just did, when you pick up that quest um, every day for looking into the telescope in the Winter Festival, and then you get that that little like thing you have to open up to get a Scroll of Fate, it seemed like every single day that I opened it up, I never got a Scroll of Fate out of it. You seen me just open it and nothing even appeared on the right side of my screen, and I never even got another Scroll of Fate in my inventory. So I wasn't even getting my Scrolls of Fate when I was doing the daily like thing as well. It was pretty terrible. But the only up to me in this event was me getting the Forge Hammer. And like I said, it sucks because I know, I know a, lot of a lot of people probably did not get the Forge Hammer. I personally know a lot of people that didn't get the Forge Hammer. And they opened up hundreds upon hundreds of gifts and hundreds upon hundreds of bags. And they never got the Forge Hammer at all. But that was the only up I had. And it was a lot of effort and a lot of time going into that. I mean, I literally bought, like, I traded in my Astral Diamonds for Zen, and then I bought, like, 80 of the uh, the bags off the Zen market, so I had enough to keep, you know, turning those into other bags and gift groups with other people. But it seemed like for the past damn near two weeks, most of the time when I got on the game, I was just running gift groups with my guild mates and my alliance mates. And I would sit there for hours upon hours upon hours. And we would just do gift groups ridiculously. We ran a gift group that was so big the other day. It was insane. And I'm not even kidding you. We had a one. It was like a 1,000 gift group. What five of us. We all had a couple hundred each. 
and then we turn that couple hundred into a few more couple hundred from everybody else. So we ran a lot of gifts and a lot of gift groups I did personally and I spent a tremendous amount of time on the gift groups to try to get the Forge Hammer and like I said I finally did so it was good for me but you know for you guys were you guys leave a comment down below let me know were you guys really trying to get the Forge Hammer were you lucky enough to get the Forge Hammer or did you not get the Forge Hammer let me know in the comment section man and then when you open up these gifts you the, the bad thing about this event is like the only quality thing that you're honestly looking for in here is the Forge Hammer the only other good thing, in my opinion, to get from the, the parcel bags is the 10 preservation warts. I mean, yeah, you get a lot of the, the bright lumens and all the lumens and stuff, so you get a lot of refinement if you open up a lot of bags. But at the same exact time, there's really nothing worthwhile to get in here except for the Forge Hammer of Gone and the preservation warts. Because the thing that sucks, and this is the main down to me about this entire event, was that everything you got out of the Starlight parcel bags was bound to character. You have no idea how many purple companions that I had to sell for copper. Purple companions. I must have gotten at least a hundred Lilins and red cap powries and all kinds of other just useless companions, but they are purple companions. I mean, hell, the game charges you 750,000 AD to upgrade a companion to purple, not even including the ones that actually, not even including the amount that you need to upgrade one from green to blue. I think that's like another 500,000, and when you, and they're bound to character. So if you don't need them, your only options are to discard them or sell them for gold. But that's the bad part is that a purple companion that theoretically cost over a million AD to upgrade from green, you don't even get no money for it. You go to sell it at the vendor and you get like 40 silver or 40 copper. So you don't even get one gold. How do you not even get one gold for a purple companion? It makes absolutely no sense to me at all. I just personally cannot believe it. And I had to sell so many purple companions. And then so many scarfs. I mean, how many scarfs can you possibly get? And all I kept doing was selling all this stuff for copper. For copper, not even gold, man. I wish the things really would have been bound to, bound to account. Because then at least some people could have took some of these purple companions, maybe some of these scarves, maybe some of these mounts, and used at least use them on other characters. Because, I, like I said, not only did I get a ton of companions, man, I got a ton of mounts. I must have got, like, ten dappled riding horses, like, ten friggin' um, Jubilee parade horses. So many things, and it kind of sucks that you literally cannot do anything with them at all, except for either discard them or sell them for copper, if you already have them. So, all in all to me, man, my total opinion and review of the winter event, it wasn't that great. You know, you had a broken fishing mechanic, you had the old uh, fishing poles that got broken, you had to open up hundreds if not thousands of starlight parcels just to get a Forge Hammer of Gaunt, some people didn't even get it. You had tons and tons of just bound to character stuff. The, uh, the event calendar for the free gifts was, was wrong and a lot of people didn't even receive their free gifts. And then the free gifts they gave us weren't even that great to begin with. There was just a lot of like, bad things and for a Christmas a winter festival event that only happens once a year maybe a me personally I was just expecting it to be a little bit better than it actually was but that's just my opinion you know on the entire winter festival you know I'm probably a little bit more different than most people because I got the forge hammer so I'm at least happy but I know that a lot of people did not get it as well so what I want to know from you guys, leave a comment down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me on my review of the Winter Festival and Neverwinter? Did you get a Forge Hammer? Did you not get a Forge Hammer? How many Starlight bags did you open up? You see, I opened up nearly almost 900 of them. I mean, 900 bags. It costs 2,000 Zen for 20 of these things. So that's like the equivalency of like, I don't even know, like 80,000 Zen 
it cost me to go ahead and get the forge hammer it's nuts man the drop rates are nuts but like i said leave a comment down below let me know if you got the forge hammer did you not get the forge hammer do you agree with me with my review of the winter festival event do you disagree with me what are some of the things you hated what were some of the things that you liked so on and so forth let me know down below um leave a comment i'd really like to know from you guys as well but you know we did get some cool things like you know the yeti was cool it's kind of too big so i don't use it but i did get it but i didn't really like it too much so anyway man i hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and make sure you tell your friends about me man so they can subscribe to my channel they can view my videos and then you can help a brother out so anyway youtube this is the assist man and until next time i am out